Hi, this is Steve Casey, Tennessee Wood Flooring. This is the world's shortest video on how to install hardwood flooring for those of you in Chicago. Now the very first thing about installing flooring is your substrate. There again, this is going to hit the high spots and that's going to be about it. But it's not rocket science, quite frankly. Advantech is fine, plywood is fine. The only thing that makes wood grow is moisture, so you need to check your moisture of your subfloor. And there's no way of doing that without a moisture meter. Um, it needs to be under 10% before you install hardwood flooring on top of it. Next thing, felt paper. Put your felt paper down. It's a cheap, uh, it's a cheap moisture barrier for anything that has uh, moisture in your subfloors or, or, your, um, or your crawl space. Um, a lot of people sometimes want to not put felt paper down. They say they're on a basement, but it is a sound barrier as well. Kind of like tapping on a, a, a metal pipe. You can hear it five floors up. So whatever cushion you put in between holds the, mo holds the, the uh, noise down. First thing you do is make sure to start straight. Now what happens if you don't start straight and you come back to your line, if you have an arc and a big long line of your hardwood flooring, the flooring is square and it has to relieve itself and you wind up having a gap every so often as it relieves itself. And, and that's a no-no. Uh, the next thing is wood breeze. Wood, that's just the nature of it. Law of physics says in the summertime when the, when the moisture gets into the wood, uh, it will become just slightly bigger. You multiply that times the number of uh, boards and, and there you've grown too much. So you leave your gap on the outside of the wall. Never bind hardwood floor in between, uh, for instance, a fireplace and a, and a metal threshold without any place for it to breathe through the seasons. Now if you're flooring cups just a little bit in the summertime where the humidity's high, uh, don't panic. Uh, your dry time is the winter time, it typically lays back down. But as you start your boards, make sure that you've chalked your line and go back and check your line every so often that you haven't knocked it back off the skew. Now, uh, when you do that, you get four rows wide or something of that nature. You don't have to go back and check it. Make sure to miss your joints. Miss your joints at least you know, three inches. There again, common sense will tell you if you're laying, uh, uh, if you don't miss one more than three inches, it's nobody's gonna die from it and you'll never see it again. So, um, flooring is tongue and grooved on the ends and the side, all certified flooring now. is tongue and grooved on the ends and the side. It has a certain amount of structural integrity in and of itself, so you can, uh, uh, you, you couldn't move it uh, as far as up and down, even if you wanted to. Miss your joints about, about three inches. Now this is a pneumatic nailer. All this amounts to at about a all 40 degree angle. It goes on here, it's obvious, it goes into the tongue, clips onto the side. You air, hook your air hose up here, take the hammer, pop it. It'll drive the nail. Some you want to hit harder, obviously, because if a board took on some moisture, has taken on some moisture, it may have just a little turn in it and you'll have to hit it harder. The, the, the manual nailers are for young people. Um, uh, you have to hit it hard every time. So you guys that are my age, you know the drill. Uh, less effort, less effort is always good. Leaves you a little more time for cigars and beer. Uh, other than that, it's not really rocket science. Now there's a thousand other things that are involved in, in, in uh, installing hardwood flooring, most of which common sense will take care of, some of which it won't. Thus, Tennessee Wood Flooring in Sevierville, give us a call, 800-238-1009, or stop by if you're in the Smoky Mountain area. And if you have some questions, uh, you'll get somebody on the phone and we'll give you, we'll give you our advice on it. We've been doing it quite a while. Steve Casey, Tennessee Wood Flooring. For more of our instructional videos, click on this link.